We're continuing our series on Simply Jesus. Today, we're gonna to talk about communion. Communion is one of the most important practices of the Christian faith. Many people all over the world call it a love fest, a fellowship. They call it the Holy Eucharist, just the Passover meal. But for Christians who believe in the words and the teachings of Jesus, it has a real moment to them about remembering the body and the blood of Jesus, the sacrifice he made for each one of us. Today, I'm sitting in the church that I grew up in, and it's an interesting thing to talk about what it means to remember, to put things back together. Today, we're gonna to talk about the power of, the, of communion, even during these perilous and important times. We're standing here at the communion table at New Life Celebration Church of God. It's a funny thing about remembrance. I remember sitting right over here in this pew and watching the beautiful ministers and my father do communion. But today I wanna to give a little different spin on communion. I wanna talk about the Last Supper. So the first thing we see out of here is that Christ brings his disciples together to lay down around the table that this represents and he serves to them communion. And this wedding act of being able to uh, sit with them and bond with them at a love fest was one that he wanted them to remember forever, even after he dies on the cross. But this night was not just a night where he showed his beautiful humility, he also showed his great and vast love. The love of Jesus Christ being one that he was even willing to eat at a table and fellowship with people who are about to do him wrong and with people who are about to betray him. And so from here, we get to see that Jesus is sitting at a table and he loves even those who have sh uh, strategies against him. He loves those people who even wish harm against him. Do we have love that great? Do we have love that crosses any barrier? Do we have love that still loves people even when they want to hurt us, even when they have plans and schemes against us? Have we lost the power of communion? Have we, in taking these meals together in fellowship and love, not truly did it, as Paul says, in a way that examines ourselves? We're gonna talk about that just a little bit more. Have we underestimated the power of communion, the body and blood of Jesus Christ? I think Jesus meant for the Last Supper to be something that brought people together. I'm standing over here at the District 5 police station. They police around Roseland and around our community right over here at the House of Hope. And I regularly get the beautiful chance of meeting with police officers and with community leaders and with other pastors. And we get to meet together and talk about the work that we're doing in the community and how we can better work together. I'm down here in downtown Chicago on Michigan Avenue about to march and protest with Black Lives Matter for the killing of George Floyd, and also for the killing of Breonna Taylor, and the, also the recent killing of Ahmaud Arbery. My challenge, my challenge from the message is a communion challenge. Can we find a way to come together as a body of Christ, breaking down the walls and the differences that seek to separate us? I believe that Jesus sitting at the table wanted the love fest to be something that wasn't just at a table, but something that poured into the streets and poured into our surrounding context and social environments. We are called to be people of love, and let's use this moment to fight against racism, systemic oppression, discrimination, persecution, mass incarceration, and many other things that seek to plague our body of Christ. Let us make sure that we are using this time to get on social media, to call people who are different from us, to make sure that we call our friends and our family, to make sure that we put down those walls that separate us and find a way to be united together. 